Hello Aries, welcome to your December 2021 general reading. So, what we will do, we're going to divide the reading into areas just to make it easier to understand. So what we will do is we will look at the overall energy for the month ahead before we then go into your emotional state, which could be where the guides are highlighting maybe, you know, trauma that has to go or needs to be looked at or maybe what's going on in um, your love life energetically, uh, before we then go into the um, area of opportunities, which is what's coming away about the things that hopefully sustain you financially or what's going on with opportunities coming your way. So that's how this works. So please subscribe uh, if you're new to the channel. Um, please always hit the like button and please, please, please share the video. Um, it would help me greatly and if you like my work you can buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium thomas right are you ready aries let's see what we got for the overall energy for the month of december 2021 so let's have a look the overall energy is promising and at the same time, there is a hint of not doing things rushed because you have the snake, the kingfisher and the polar bear. Now, the kingfisher is the one in the middle because it's surrounded by the other two. And how this works is while everything here is now, the one in the middle, the animal guide in the middle, <coughs> excuse me, um, is the most important. So. Therefore, let's just talk about the Kingfisher first. That's your main energy for the months ahead. And the Kingfisher is one of those birds um, that says to you, no matter how crooked the tree is, and it could represent your life, the Kingfisher can work it. Same as the hummingbird. That's the message of these two birds, right? So what they're saying to you is it doesn't matter how difficult situations may appear, you will be fine, right? Um, your incoming energy is the snake, your outgoing energy is the polar bear. The incoming energy is the snake. The snake is the animal of health and protection and healing because when you go to a pharmacy you see a snake around the cane and also the animal of um, the snake is the animal that tells you, you know, in order for you to work the crooked tree it is time and important for you this month to shed your skin. What that means is for you to say like, okay, what am I holding on to? What is it that makes my life so difficult? And does it actually make sense for me to deal with things, to continually deal with things when they draw, when they drain my energy, right? So this is all about more internal stuff and stuff that is happening in your immediate environment. So um, you could have really good friends, but they, um, they see you every day and you have no time to do your own thing, which could easily, very easily, um, you know, train your energy. And it's sometimes time just to tell them um, that there are boundaries to what you are willing to do and maybe a bit of self-love and self-care, um, Aries, means that, you know, maybe it's time to step back a little. The reason why this is so important, remember the kingfisher is in the middle, which means you're going to be fine either way. But the outgoing energy is the polar bear. And all polar bears, oh sorry, and all bears are about healing. The polar bear is the most vulnerable of all the bears that are on this beautiful blue planet of ours. So therefore what they're saying is, as you look at the month of November, sorry, December, <laughs> what am I all about? The month of December, you ought to really, again, they said that, in, you know, with, with the snake, look at who is invading your space, if that makes sense. Who is in your space too much um, and sometimes, remember, you allow it, right? I mean, it's oftentimes people um, that you allow into your space that are not bad people, but they become opportunists because if you give, they take, 
right? The analogy that I always use is if you cooked for me five times a week, I let you. <laughs> and if you then said I can't cook for you on Monday, instead of being grateful for Tuesday to Friday, I would probably go like, oh, what am I going to do on Monday? And if I know how to push your buttons and how to appeal to um, to your um, oh, state, <laughs> you will keep cooking for me on a Monday. This is just an analogy, but the point I'm trying to make is sometimes you can't really blame the people. It's it's You allowed it to happen, and the only person that can tell them that there are limits to your energy and that you probably need a bit of time ultimately is you. Right? Because your outgoing energy is the polar bear. So what they're saying is, make sure in December right, to not always be the life of the party. Just also tell them, you know, there's only so much I can do. And maybe even ask for help. Okay? That was sort of the overall energy for the month of December. This is a general reading, so it might not um, resonate um, with all of you. Um, we're looking at the star sign of Aries. You are watching Energy and Star Sign Readings with myself. Thomas Janak. Well, my actually surname is Janak, but it's easier for you to pronounce when I say Janak. <laughs> and now we're looking at your emotional core, um, which could be drama that just sits there, still sits there, um, or things that are just holding your energy back, or maybe they talk about love. Let's talk about. So we'll see whatever it is they got. Drawn to this deck. Let's have a look, guys. Okay, while they're not giving me imagery at this point in time, um, so I can't tell you at this point in time, maybe they give me something in a minute, whether or not this is about new beginnings in love or, or general, here's what the guides gave us. We have the frog, the grey wolf and the white-tailed deer. Same applies, the one in the middle is the most important, which is the grey wolf. Well, the grey wolf is saying to you, with regards to manifesting love and with regards to making the love work, should you be in a relationship? So this is not about trauma at this point in time, probably a good thing. This is all about manifesting love or making the relationship, the, the, the intimate relationship you're in, work. Right? And what they're saying to you is, as the grey wolf is the one in the middle, that you need to be in charge. That does not mean that you're going to be a bully tomorrow and a narcissist and all that kind of stuff. It just means that you look at the situation as it presents itself to you and see how you feel about it. Right? And then when the grey wolf is saying, well, I'm trying to run a pack here, <laughs> right? So if you're not in a relationship, that means in order for you to, to create that pack, you first need to be willing to give it another go. Right? Really, really important. Um, and should you be in a relationship, it is about reflecting how the relationship you're in is actually working um, and what can be tweaked. And the good thing is your incoming energy is the frog. And the frog is an animal that is an amphibian, which means the frog can live on land and on water. And that means that you are in, a, in good spirits with regards to making relationship a relationship work. And you also can trust or should or ought to trust that when you open up again and you say like, yeah, okay, I've been through the ringer, you know, um, been through a couple of relationships or maybe a relationship that didn't quite work, right? Don't manifest the same crap and you do not manifest the same crap by actually saying, you know what, I've been through this, there were lessons I needed to learn, they have been learned, I'm opening up again and I'm inviting in love, I'm inviting in new beginnings. And the frog is saying to you, that's the spirit. <laughs> and whatever comes your way, you will manage to make this harmonious. Same goes for you if you are in a relationship, right? You have 
the capacity to look at things in depth and say like, okay maybe we can tweak things here because ultimately as the outgoing energy for this topic is the white tail deer um, that clearly denotes because the deer is basically saying like you know with regards to love with regards to emotional turmoil the best thing to do is to be calm about it the best thing is to say like, well you know assess it it is what it is I decide how much I get, you know, wound up about it, right? So it's important to to remember that the, the calmer you are when you are looking at making changes or when you are looking at inviting in new beginnings, um, the better things work. Don't force anything, don't be pushy, because energetically speaking, that energy cannot be, cannot be supported. Um, because the grey wolf, the one in the middle, literally runs a pack and in the pack everybody has its place and you know, uh, if that makes sense, and the pack needs each other. So um, being impatient about anything, Aries, won't get you anywhere. So see how frustrated you are with yourself with regards to manifesting new beginnings or how frustrated you are in the relationship you are in should you be in one and hmm, it's a weird word normalize things and say you know what just let me calm down a little and as I calm down a little we can look at things so I can look at things differently right so that was your emotional uh, part of this reading. You are watching Energy and Star Sign readings with myself, Thomas Janak. Please, please, please subscribe, like and share this video. Um, it would help me greatly and if you like my work you can support me financially on uh, buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. Right? So, we're not quite done yet. Let's look at opportunities that come your way which are normally um, about what sustains you financially. So let's just see what opportunities are coming your way um, that you ought to be looking at at this point in time. Let's have a look. Opportunities that come to you this month are hmm, they're not coming to you massively. There's no massive um, <clears throat> spark of ideas that come your way. This is all more about how you look at things. <clears throat> so you have the, the, the seagull, the caribou in the middle and the owl. The caribou in the middle, we get there because in this case, I really have to start, excuse me, with the incoming energy of the seagull, then go via the caribou to the owl. The seagull is literally telling you that if you want things to happen and also if you want things to change, you have to plan this a bit more. You have to really think about, um, again, this is about reflecting, reflecting. Um, you have to really think about what is it that I want to do, which makes a difference. Because if you say like, what is it that isn't working, you will sometimes go into frustration. They're not asking you to 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 figure out what isn't working because there's all, by, by, for all intents and purposes you already know what they're asking you to vocalize or manifest is. Um, how you want things to happen and that's what the seagull comes in the seagull is literally telling you unless you have a plan there's always a chance that you're not getting where you want to go to right so because you have the caribou in the middle and the caribou is really all about rebirth and the cycle of life so we're all going through cycles Right? And, and, and rebirth literally means that not everything is ready yet, but the caribou, also known as the reindeer, has a split hoof. So 
that's the split hoof. And as the terrain gets difficult, the caribou doesn't sink in. So what they're saying to you is, right, you manifest, you think about, really, you deeply think about where is it I want to go, what is it I want to do, which requires um, a positive frame of mind to not get um, caught up in, in, oh, that doesn't work and that doesn't work. Make sure you leave the frustration out of new manifestations um, because the caribou clearly tells you, you know, you got this. Right? And then the owl is the outgoing energy is literally also saying to you that if you manifest or as you look at where you are, look at how you feel. Okay, so if you are a person that lives with other people and that maybe cares for other people, you probably think twice before you let go of a job because you think like, well, it's a shitty job. But I have my kids to look after, I have my, 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 my partner to look after. And what the universe is saying to you is, that's not how it works. <laughs> right? But what they're saying to you ultimately is to manifest what you want, not what the family wants or the, the people you with want. Because when you say, I'm not happy here, which is more or less a statement, right? or I'm, I feel stuck, which is another statement, you then have to literally top it up by saying, but I am making changes. So if you manifest for the highest good of yourself, then you get right what you really feel you should have. And the universe knows that you're with other people. That becomes your unit. And automatically, the universe will endeavor to keep your unit safe. But if you manifest for others or hold back because of others, things cannot come to you because you're not really asking for it. You're asking for something that fits everybody. And all the guides are saying is, no, 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 no. It's your manifestation. You manifest what you need. Okie dokie. Merry Christmas. Um, yes, that's all we got time for. Please, please, please like, subscribe and share. Like, share, share, share. Thank you. Bye-bye.